Hey yo, what's up? This is uh, Derek with TopSportsMobility.com, and on today's topic, we'll I just, I just like to talk about the uh, current uh, state of affairs of the New Orleans Saints. As many of you know, the Saints were uh, selected by many to uh, represent the uh, NFC as the uh, Super Bowl uh, contender against the uh, possibly the New England Patriots or the Denver, Denver Broncos of the AFC. But so far, the Saints have clearly not lived up to their hype. Not li- They have not lived up to the team that we know that they're capable of, capable of being. Um, last week was one of the worst losses ever during the uh, Sean Payton, Drew Brees era when the Saints lost 41 to 10. That was unbelievable. I mean, the Saints of have, you know, the Saints are pretty much, they were unbeatable until this year. They lost four straight games in a row. That's something that's pretty much un- unheard of during, um, the Sean Payton era in New Orleans. I mean, the Saints have clearly not the team that they used to be back in the, back in the day. They're not there. I mean, they're struggling to put up points. The receivers are dropping passes. Uh, Drew Brees is clearly not himself. I mean, it's 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 a lot of things that's been going on. Defense is has not played up to their uh, potential. Last year, I believe it was the fifth rank. Defense in the NFL, I mean, the Saints, uh, I just I don't understand what's going on. Hopefully they can turn it around this uh, Monday when they take on uh, Chicago on Monday Night Football. They pre- look like they're uh, turning into the, the Road Warriors now because they play, they're playing like they used to play in, back in the Superdome now. They put up a lot of points. I mean, the defense is pretty much the same. Um, they could have that's that score that game against the Steelers could have been a whole lot worse for the Steelers if the Saints defense didn't had not decided to uh you know I guess relax in the last I guess six minutes of the game. You know, I think the score was like thirty five to fourteen, I'm not sure. Steelers almost come back came back to win the game, but it was pretty much too late, but I mean, the Saints uh, have clearly lost the, the swagger that we all know. That we all have noticed of this team in the past few years. I mean, I don't know what's going on. What can they do to turn it around? But I mean, they have Drew Brees, Marcus Colston, Cam Jordan, a couple of veterans on that strong veterans on that team. I mean, we can start seeing Drew Brees call these guys out after the game after the games, you know, I do something similar to what Tom Brady does. You know, he's yelling at guys on the sideline, cussing them out. I mean, he's galvanizing those, those troops, those guys are winners, you know. I mean, Drew Brees needs to do something. He needs to just stop meaning well. After, after conference game, after a press conference, he goes, well, he's saying things like, well, it was my fault. I throw the pick or, you know, We'll do it. We'll get better next time. You know, call these guys out. Call Jimmy Graham out. Call Marcus Coaston out, man. You know, Jimmy Graham hasn't been the same since he uh, signed his contract. I'm just saying. He hasn't been the same since he signed that big contract in uh, back in the offseason. You know, he says that he wants to be a receiver. He's clearly not playing like one. And, yes, I think he should be paid as a tight end. He's clearly not played as up to his potential, played up to that contract so far. Um, that's all I have for right now. Uh, hit, hit like on this uh, video, comment, tell me what you think. Please subscribe to my channel. Click on the link below this video in the description box and sign up for the tops. SportsMemorabilia.com newsletter for the latest updates and deals on all sports memorabilia products. Have a blessed day. I'm out. Who that nation?